Texas A&M football concludes their last practice before Easter break. A&M head coach Mike Sherman is stepping up and that players are being shuffled around to find their spot. We have a lot of areas. I tell our offense all the time that you know, last year is last year and we have to take another step this year. And, and it's not just showing up. I mean, you, we we got we to gotta be better. There's a, with, with the, uh, the emergence of our zebras with Swope and McNeil, uh, I think they're going to bring a lot to the table because they're both fast and quick guys in the middle of the field. And then the development of our younger receivers on the edges, I think, will help us. And, um, you know, I just think his familiarity one more year in the offense will, will make him a better quarterback. I think Luke has really, uh, he's, been, uh, he's been really strong uh, in his play throughout just about the entire camp. And I'm really excited about what he's brought to the table. And uh, Andrew Woolridge is about to secure himself the number two nose position, but he's, uh, he's done a nice job as well. He stays square. He, he can get into the backside of a scoop block, so he, he's really done a nice job. I'm proud of him. To be able to go up there against Von Miller and be able to handle that and not get flustered at all, uh, to be able to block him on occasion and uh, be able to get his hands on him. Vaughn's uh, not quite getting to us like he did last spring when we didn't have our tackles out here, and it's large, largely due to... To, to joke, okay, he's doing a he's doing a fine job out here. I, I think he has a very very bright future and at a position that we really need someone to play and step up at. We just want to find what the right mix is going to be, and and maybe it is uh, Allen. He played uh, center uh, at LSU when he was at LSU, and and I think he's excited about playing that. He did a good job this morning at the position. Now we did have a couple uh, bad snaps tonight, uh, but uh, I think they're not quite as uh, as numerous numerous as the ones we had yesterday, so I think we're cut that in half, but still way too many. He's actually looked very good at safety, but also at corner. You know, he's a better player this year than he was last year, more confident. I thought last year he was a little bit hesitant in some of the um, reactions that he had to what he saw, and this year he trusts himself a little bit more. We talked about uh, how he has to cut it loose, and he has uh, this year. So I think he's looked good uh, as a corner and as a safety. So uh, we're a better team because of that. I think his suddenness is what I see a lot of uh, this spring. That uh, is something I saw last year, but we're allowing him to be a little bit more uh, elusive in, in what he's doing from a pressure standpoint and, and get after the quarterback. So uh, I think he's, he's done a fine job. I think Charlie Thomas behind him as well. The beauty of that, those two guys is the fact that you know they're in our base defense, but then we may not have to go nickel because I think both guys play excellent coverage, and, and we'll be able to uh, be a part of base on first and second down versus a subgroup, uh, you know, three wides uh, on, on against our opponents. Tune in to Aggie Yell on Tuesday for more information on spring ball.